and the product of uh, the technology of BDI solutions, so virtual desktop infrastructures. So for that we are going to uh, see some of the futures and the technologies which is going to cover up from Horizon View Solutions from VMware. So first of all we need to understand why it is needed kind of uh, VDI solutions. So virtual desktop infrastructure and uh, what is desktop virtualized environment and uh, what is the benefit we'll get from that options like we need to understand all these tags then only we can cover up uh, this Horizon View product. So first we are going to cover up the agendas. So VMware end user computing design. So what is end user computing? The technology name or the terminology name, we can say that. So what is the benefit we'll get it from VMware Horizon? So that's a product name. And Horizon View solution overview. How we are differencing uh, from the other competitions. And Pricing and packaging and customer references. Uh, who are all the customers they are using already and what are the benefits they are getting? So, first we need to see that the ratios, the rates. So, the pace and rate of technology changes faster than ever. So, devices, so 66% use 2 billion to 2 plus devices per hour. So we used to have minimum mobile uh, smartphones, your laptops, your desktops. So per user minimum will use two plus devices minimum for work. And half of all non-PG devices will be BO by 2016. So you know that uh, BO, right? So bring your own devices. So anything, your application, your data, anything is BYO, bring your own. Then 2014, on-ride shipments will outstrip iOS. So now you are aware of that, right? Already it is overstripping uh, iOS shipments. So on-ride is more in the smartphone segment. So year-on-year -year steady PC shipment forecast. So PC, laptops, everything is improving. So apps, an app side is 300 billion app downloads by 2016. That's a forecast which we are expecting minimum 300 billion app is going to download by 2016. So 80% of LOB apps are SaaS. It's, uh, you know about, you know about SaaS, right? The services, the softwares, so everything comes under service, as a service. So like a cloud, you can say that it's kind of service. So here they mentioned this software as a service. And then access, 52% of companies support mobile remote employees, so roaming employees. So wherever they are, are running wherever they are working from different locations. So we can cover up all these applications and the devices through SaaS, SaaS model, or you can say that in some devices comes under as IaaS, infrastructure as a service. And more than 30% of the worldwide workforce is mobile. So everybody nowadays, everybody we are using the smartphones, right? If you want to access our data, our mails, our specific applications. So it is by 2014, you can say that it will be more than 30% of the workforce will use through mobile services. So this, all these ratios or the parameters you can say or the rate you can say that it's surveyed and reported by Gartner and Forrester, and Morgan Stanley also, and IDC, all are together, they've taken this survey. So why we are discussing about these surveys? This everything is going for SaaS model. So what about the delivery? What about the management of the SaaS model? Then who is going to manage? What about the policy of the company? 
what about the complaints and security of the data. So everything we need to consider in that consideration we are discussing about end user computing. So what you need is a new approach. So we are using three layers to give the services of the end user computing. In the three services we are discussing about a transform so assets into central services. So if we, we are running the company we are keeping all the data your application your services everything into central repository. Then you need to use the broker the services centrally you need to manage these follow these data. And deliver so you need to deliver for multi device access. So these three layers will give the approach to enable the end user computing space. So transform you can maintain a central repository and the broker you can say that it is a connectivity. The deliver you can deliver to de deliver to multi device. So like smartphones, your tablets, laptops, your PC, everything you can deliver in the same form. So if you are getting one image in one of your smartphone, the same image, same data, same visibility, everything you will get in the other devices as well. So VMware Horizon is a platform for end user computing. So transform simplify desktops, diverse apps and data into centralized services everything all your app catalog application catalog like Microsoft Office your Adobe Reader your WinZip programs everything comes under the central repository and then desktop you can say that it's a common desktop OS and data. So you are combining all these into single repository and broker so manage and secure centrally and broker services to your workforce by policy. So you can create the services and policy and profiles for your entire workforce and deliver comes under empower your workforce with flexible access across devices locations and connectivity so wherever they are so that's why we mentioned here like a PC laptop and tablets your smartphone everything so from anywhere everywhere you need to access the same content so how we are combining this so horizon view virtualizes desktops into a central service the desktop so complete your repository your application, your devices, everything into a single console. So this is a horizon view architecture. So in the left hand side we shown that the customer is using different devices like Windows view client with the local mode and Macintosh view client or Windows view client, individual view client, a Linux view client. Thin client, if you are using other thin client products like N computing or HP thin clients or VXL or whatever the thin client devices you are using, you can uh, integrate with our solution and zero client discless notes and iPad and Android tablets. So, any kind of view clients, your smartphones, anything. So, how the communication will happen through internet or your intranet. So for that we need to maintain the view administrator. So you can create the package. So your view package it's called as a view package. In the view package you can combine or package everything as a single package to deliver through the clients. If you want to roll out MS Office, so you can create a package view client package. Then you can roll out to your any clients and any devices. But the data, application, your OS, your app, everything will be there 
in the centralized repository. So here we explain that the private cloud is a VCS. So we are building that image space. It's or in some other extent you can say that uh, it's a workspace. So you are creating the workspace like a SharePoint portal. So most of you are uh, aware of that SharePoint portal is a workspace technology. The same way we can create for any kind of application. So any kind of OS which we are supporting in the compatibility space. So you can create the package with a view composer, the parent image, and you can make the link to clones with the vSphere. So you can mount through ESXi model and you can manage these ESXi with vCenter. So we are supporting all these from vSphere segment. And then you will get a view administrator, it's a browser based, and view security and servers for compliance. So you know about the network and security. So that component also, so we are supporting with view, horizon view, view is a product, horizon view is a product. So this communication will happen to PCO IP. So that is a protocol we are using, PCO IP direct connect to deliver the image to any devices. So I hope, I'm hoping that this architecture is very easy to understand. If you have any queries related to this, please let me know anytime. Then transform assets into central services. How we are transforming all the services into a central repository. So VMware vSphere and vCenter server. So enable business agility and cloud service levels. It's considered as cloud services since it is a workspace. So details tight integration with integration with vSphere. So if you are running with vSphere already. So we are supporting that vSphere technology to integrate with Horizon View and DRS allocates resources on demand. So anybody knows about this DRS? I hope so that it is a dynamic resource scheduler, allocates resources on demand. So you may have a number of VM images. You can allocate the resources on demand. What is the memory is where you need to allocate. So everything need to be an automated process. So DRS will handle this resource allocation. And fault tolerance and availability. So fault tolerance and availability again comes under the same stack. Like you can run with the clusters for your view servers and auto deploy ESX host. If you need more VM images, you can automatically deploy through our vSphere and vCenter servers. So benefits standardized on the leading cloud infrastructure platform, easily scale to tens or thousands of desktops. So you have only one image in your head office. So whatever the clients, users are coming in, they will get the same image. They will get their own workspace. It can be from 10,000 till 1,000 or 10,000. So 10 to 1,000 or 10,000, anything is possible. But you are using only one image. You are handling the complete control of your images or the company's policy. And deliver business agility. So we are supporting with the online and offline modes. So whether they are under your network or not, they will get connected. You can configure that way. It's like a local mode, consider as local mode. It's offline mode. Protect and recover quickly from downtime. If you are facing some problem with one of your device or your users, they can use the same application or data from any other host, any other systems. So improve service levels, no downtime simply, so you'll get a better service levels. And ensure optimal desktop performance. So whatever the resources you want to add, you can add any resources with your server side itself. In client side, no need to add any resources. So you'll get a good performance in your desktop side. 
So give storage accelerator, happiness storage and improve desktop performance. So again, you can say that uh, we are given the storage accelerators. It's through common block reads. It's 100% uh, server based. So no need to depend on your desktops. So whatever the performance you are getting from your server, so you can improve your desktop performance. So reduce storage cost, decrease peak IOPS load and storage, ensure consistent user experience by handling worst case usage. So allow larger scale, uh, client scale on same resources. So you can uh, dynamically um, assign or define your resources on on demand to your users. So wherever you are getting more load, so you can give more resource to the particular desktops, the applications. So that we are supporting with the storage accelerator. So space efficient disk utilization. So these are all the futures we are getting in view. Okay. So space effect efficient disk utilization, this is a new option which is available from 5.1. So a new disk format on uh, VMS for VMFS. So reduces grain size and efficiently utilizes every allocated block with real data. Unused space is reclaimed to contain growth of view composer, provisioned image size. So we are using our own uh, VMware file system that comes under VMFS. Uh, that is again, uh, it's using efficient disk utilization. So it is reducing more uh, storage space needed for the application image. It's like a comprising technology. So it's combined in composer, view composer. So broker, it services centrally by policy. So view manager. So you can manage the complete your desktop environment, your application, your data, uh, the complete health of your uh, server systems, your storage system, everything through single management console. It's, you can say that it's single pan of glass. In the single pan of glass, you can manage, you can control, you can troubleshoot, you can view, you get the complete visibility of your entire environment. That comes under view manager, again, it's a broker to manage these clients. So Horizon View Manager is split in this way. So you can create a new desktop from templates. If they are requesting some specific application. Now we want to combine some uh, OES, some specific application into a single form. So that time you just create through templates. It's already we have certain uh, preloaded templates you can combine together and you can mix up and you can create one image, new image. So you just imagine that you have OS application, your data separately. You can combine with the template and you'll get one more, the packaged image to deliver to your customers. So this is possible through view manager. Again, it comes under the category of broker. So on the left hand side, we are seeing that view manager, vCenter, and app and OS and data through templates. So enable secure access and data protection. Again, we are supporting through the network and security. So secure data in data center. So you are keeping all the data into the data center only. The clients will get only, uh, you can say that it's a few clients, only the dumb nodes. They're just accessing to your data center and then they are accessing application and their data. All the data is getting stored in your data center only. So you are securing your data as well in the centralized repository. So the client will not get any access to your data on offline. So also the management is very easy to apply your compliance policies, your security policies, your companies, Secure environment, unified access to view, terminal servers, blade PCs, physical desktops. So anything is possible. You will get the complete visibility. That's why we mentioned that it's unified access to view to multiple devices, desktops, thin clients, laptops, anything. 
you will control everything you can apply the same policy for all the devices multi devices environment and view security server and two factor authentication support if you are using through two factor authentication like one time password the otp tokens the one time numbers your pk devices your digital certificates so anything you can combine with the view manager for your company's security and configurable cut and paste policies you will get the free templates you can cut and paste any policy from anywhere so ip protected behind firewall ensure regulatory compliance as i told you again we are mentioning that it's a compliance single point of brokering for different types of sessions and choices in two factor authentication solutions you can mix with any two factor authentication modules so simply you are getting security to your application and data and visibility to your complete environment also you are reducing the complete capex cost for your end user side only the dumbless notes so horizon view composer and pin app so streamline desktop image and application management so here we mentioned that uh, you are keeping one vmware pin app you can say that it's a small application or you you have the application in on your hand you have a os as a master image so using through vmware view composer you can combine this os and application and then you can combine your data also and then you can create one packaged image so all these images are the customized image so you have the option to customize your own image based on the templates pre templates still you are keeping only one master image only one vmware pin app so whenever your customers or your end users are asking for usability that time you can combine and you can create a single image and you can deliver that based on the customer's requirement so tinap application virtualization we are very uh, we are going very deep into tinap what is tinap like so minimize application conflicts and reduce cost okay in one environment you want to use both uh, your microsoft office 2007 and 2010 so wherein it is not possible to use in the same desktop if you are using so desktop or laptop in the physical environment it is not possible to run two different version of the same application it is not possible but wherein the thin app environment or the application virtualization so anything is possible on the virtualized layers so we are making as a virtualized layer so each and every application will use their own virtualized layer to deliver the image and it will encapsulate the data and application into a single executable file so again it is a agentless architecture decouples applications from os that's what we mentioned that operating system is separate and application is separate the application will run on virtual layers not on the physical environment so whenever you want to pull out that particular application you want to upgrade that application to your users so only once you need to upgrade your application entire thousand users they will get the updated or upgraded application so the management is very easy your downtime downtime is very less so now you are using 2007 the users are using you can create one more virtual layer for 2010 okay then you can deliver 2010 and then you can pull out 2007 back so they will get 2010 as a upgraded version so with this migration no need to have any downtime also while making this image you will not get any conflict so you will get improved atlas you will not get any downtime the management is easy only once you need to upgrade the application for 1000 10000 users also your data is saved in the centralized repository as of now any other questions friends okay 
So if you are not getting properly, if you have uh, any queries, please let me know then and there. So like operating system, VOS, virtualized operating system, your application, your sandbox, so all are virtualized layers for application layer itself. So persona management, so efficiently preserve user settings and reduce desktop TCO. So that one is desktop for total cost of ownership. So in desktop side, no need to have any higher performed uh, um, resources. It's a discless nodes you can have simply, you can have with your uh, thin clients or view composers or you, if you are running with the smartphones, you can just enable the view as a client and you will get connected to your server. So no special, no specific user settings or user resources are required. So management is very easy, deployment also very, very easy. That comes in the persona management. Simple anything from any other device if you want to get connected. So you can use through your VMware view client. So any server, any application, any data, which you are using only one. So you'll feel the same, uh, you are a desktop uh, feeling. So we feel the endpoint, this is for uh, the security layer. So we are giving the virus protection for your VMs. So wherever you are using our data hosted on data center, like you want to protect your endpoints, and then it is possible to configure the security settings. So this is normal, and you can configure with the two-factor authentication solution also. <coughs> You can see that it is uh, agentless security. If you want to make it as agent based, yes, you can do that. <coughs> Sorry. Or else, if you want to make it as uh, agentless security uh, layers, yes, still you can do that. That's what we shown. We are showing you that uh, yellow in color. So we center operations manager for Horizon View. So monitor, troubleshoot, and uh, proactively respond to desktop issues. So end-to-end -end monitoring of desktops, users, and network through dashboards, only one single dashboard. Ensure health and performance of stack, your server performance, your desktop server performance, your application performance, everything you can uh, get it from a single management console. So enable proactive alerts, you, you can configure to get uh, alerts also. So extension services, as I told you in the previous slides, so we are supporting with the PCO IP. So it's very simple, PC over IP. PC, personal computer over internet protocol, you can say that, it's IP, extension services. So it's supporting 23 session statistics for one device and supports basic WMA tools. It's a Windows management interface. And view extension services, power cell integration, so SUI management pack, that's a operation management pack, that's OEM. So ThinApp extension services, software development kit available. If you want to make any software specific software for your specific need, you can use it through the software development kit. So everything is possible. You have some two, three application you want to combine or you want to design something, you want to customize something, you can do everything through the extension services. It's an adoptable services. You can just download and you can use it through view manager. So Horizon workspace based thin app entitlement. So this workspace again, it is like a SARPoint services. 
So you can create one space, workspace, and you can give it to your users. They can go and work in collaborative way. So no need to work uh, on a standalone way. They can work in a collaborative way. That comes under workspace. Also, we are supporting with single sign-on. So now we are going to see the deliver mode for multi-device access. So Horizon View with the PCOIP display protocol. So deliver the best end user desktop experience. So you'll get the boosting also. So optimized for LAN and WAN environments. Software-based protocol with optional hardware acceleration. So for client side, don't need to have any hardware acceleration. In server end, we are supporting that hardware acceleration and storage acceleration. So adaptive protocol adjust to network conditions. So progressive build of graphics. So no need to, in the end user side, no need to have any graphics acceleration or any hardware acceleration. So everything is available in the server side. That's why we are combining all these, or you are compressing the image in the server side and we are delivering through PTO IP. So PTO IP optimization controls, adjustable setting by user, desktop or group for the best experience. You can use in the same way what you are getting in your desktops. So enable or disable build to lossless, enable client side catching, this one can be configured through GPO. So you can integrate with your AD also. It's a group policy. So group policy through group policy, you can create and you can roll out to your users. So whenever the particular users are connecting to get the image from server, they will get the same configurable settings and policies. So enable or disable build to lossless. Adjustable frame rate setting, so based on the your laptops or uh, uh, desktops, uh, PV rates, your display rates. So adjust the max bandwidth per session. You can adjust the bandwidth session also based on that. So everything you are doing it in your server side and your uh, AD side, your user authentication. You are not doing anything on your client side. Everything is automated process. So the client said no need to do anything. So if we want to use the, the view clients for desktops, view clients for Windows, Mac, and Ubuntu Linux based desktops and laptops. So wherever you are using that way, so you will get the same feeling of your desktops and laptops through view clients. So Windows and Linux based thin clients and zero clients. So for example, you are using your laptop now, currently you connected with me for this session. But if you are not connecting through your laptops or desktop, you are connecting through uh, uh, diskless nodes or dumb nodes, or um, uh, you, may, you may know about uh, this end uh, computing, right? That's the easiest, very known product. If you are connecting through your end computing boxes, it, is, it doesn't have any uh, processing capability, it doesn't have any uh, uh, memory, it doesn't have anything in the diskless uh, box. So if you are connecting through displays box through your network, which it is getting the image through PC or IP, that time also you will get the same feeling what you are using in your laptop or desktop. So all these OS or the images, application data, everything will come from the server. So mobile clients for Android and iOS devices. If you are using Android-based tablet or iOS-based tablet or your uh, smartphones, anything, you will get the same Windows desktop image in your smartphones and tablets also. So you'll get the same feeling. With your username and password, you need to, so the username and password you can enable on your EAD, Active Directory. If you are using the same username and password, you will get the same Windows-based desktop screen in your smartphone, in your tablets. So it will come from the view server. And it is the based access. So web access is mainly for a workspace, it's collaboration.
and securely embrace DOEOD initiatives, enable and secure tablet devices, so reduce TCO with repurposed uh, PCs, increase end user flexibility with access from a wide variety of devices. I will get the same workspace, I will get the same uh, desktop screen from uh, any of my devices. Only thing is it will get authenticated through my username and password, but the data or the application or OS will come from my server. So I will get the same feeling. So in whatever the device I am using, I will get the same image everywhere. So native mobile client UI. So as you can see that uh, the PowerPoint, SharePoint in the left hand side, whatever you are getting the same way. Uh, this one uh, which we are accessing through tablet, uh, the screenshot shows it is a tablet based access. Deliver mobile application navigation for virtual desktop. So you can see that uh, downside of this uh, screenshot, you will get a window screens, the window icons, the same taskbar. So this one, this is a screenshot for a tablet, not a desktop. Huh? Application, launch apps, running apps, open files, everything. So whatever the information you will get in your desktops or laptops, the same information you will get across the devices everywhere. That's why we are calling it, it's a virtual desktop. So this one, clientless HTML5 browser access, new. So this one uh, for web access. Also, it is meant to for uh, your workspace. The remote protocol delivered through any HTML5 capable web browser. Now, almost all the browsers are supporting with HTML5. Access through Horizon UI, the user interface. Routes to existing view desktop. So, leverages view security server for network routing when available. You can configure through. So, if you are accessing through net, uh, your internet services through web browser, you can just log into your portal, the workspace portal, which we can configure in the server side. They can just log into the portal and they can give username and password and they will get connected to. It's like a web mail, but you will get the same desktops. It's easy, right? So wherever you are, you can connect to connect through that uh, publishing portal and you will get the same desktop feeling. So install free access to desktops, clean integrated browser based experience with Horizon workspace. For that you need to enable through this component. So you are traveling, you, you are in different country, you want to uh, get your desktop. That means virtually you want to get into your desktop and you want to access the application files, everything. You can simply connect through HTML5 browser access. It's like in SSL VPN. It's like SSL VPN. You can get connected to your network. So media services for unified communications. So optimize usability and end user productivity. You can integrate uh, with a UC solution as well. So Cisco, Mitchell, Avaya, and Microsoft. So Microsoft UC. That's a new option. So location based printing. So USB and multimedia redirection. So location based printing also you can configure. So wherever you are you can uh, get connected to your printing service and you can able to print that. So all these comes under UC solution integration with VDI. So increase end user productivity with the follow me desktop and phone. So leverage uh, existing wipe investment. So if you have the existing services your UC wipe investment, you can integrate with uh, our solution. So deliver traditional desktop experience with uh, USB and printing support. So wherever you are virtually, you will get connected to your server and you can take the printing. So enable more use cases with the 3D graphics requirements. So anyway, as I told you, uh, no need to get any specific uh, graphic acceleration in your client side. All the configuration you can do it on your server and itself. So media services for 3D graphics. So again, comprehensive software and hardware acceleration for 3D graphics on the server end. 
So hardware accelerator leverages new vSphere 5.1 capability available only in view new. It started from 5.1, the latest one. So hardware accelerator enables shared access to physical GPU. So graphical processing unit, it's a new option. So that option is available from 5.1, which you need to enable on the server end. That's all. In client side, no need to enable anything. It's a shareable. So once you are configuring on the server end, it's configured through DRS, Dynamic Resource Scheduler. Whoever is asking graphics acceleration. So the view client will take it from view server. Simple. So enables truly high performance graphics, cost effective with the multiple DMs is adding simply the single GPU resource. As I told you, you need to enable only one GPU on the server end. It can be utilized by multiple DMs through DRS. So flexibility in delivering 3D graphics for a desktop and workstation use cases. Same thing. So continuity services so deliver a seamless uninterrupted experience. So automatically detect network loss and reconnect the user session. It's an automated process. No need to reconnect when you are working with your server and you are accessing any application. So streamline the login. Single sign-on is possible. So you know I I am sure that you know about the single sign-on policy. It's very simple. That once you need to authenticate get authenticated by the server. But after that, you can get connected with any of your application, your data, your servers, anything, till you are coming out for lockout. So enable smart and proximity cards. You can use the two-factor authentication, and also you can use enable biometric devices if you are using biometrics, like a fingerprint devices. So everything is possible: authentication, security, your networking, your compliance, your policy. Your centralized management, uh, your lowest SLAs, your improved uh, performance, and uh, no downtime, everything you will get it from this VDI component, the virtual desktop infrastructure. So it's automatic connectivity. And tech preview view media services for MMR, so multimedia redirection for Windows 7 desktops, the latest one, which we need uh, the themes, right? Aero themes, this, that, like, uh, so we need more uh, graphical uh, memory and performance. So that kind of scenario, we can use it through compressed multimedia stream. And uh, that one can be configured on the server side. So support for redirection to DXVA enabled clients with Windows 7 OS. So streams multimedia content to the client endpoint for decoding and playback. So it's like a compression. It will compress the image and it will send it to your client. In the client side, it will uh, expand the image and it will use it. So this uh, consider considered as a multimedia redirection. So high definition end user experience with a smooth playback without any disturbance in the bandwidth as well as in the graphical performance utilization. So improved server scalability and lower bandwidth consumption, the same thing. So Horizon View 5.2 and related updates, the latest one. So we are giving uh, in the deliver spec, uh, we are giving the user experience, hardware accelerated 3P, 3D graphics supported and improved video and Y communications with Microsoft Link 2013 support. It's 100% supported with the Link. Support for Windows 8 based desktops and clients. In 5.2 release, this is the latest release. In, in this late, latest release, we are supporting Windows 8 as well. So streamlined access to view desktops from Horizon Workspace. So easily connect to desktops from any device with HTML access through web access, as I told you. So we can uh, broadcast to the web server, like workspace server, anywhere you can connect through internet and you can give, you, you need to give your username and password, you'll get connected to. So enhanced experience for touch-based mobile devices. We are supporting the touch-based mobile devices also with OIS support. So tech preview, Windows 7 multimedia redirection. That's an important thing. Then broker based ease of management side, so large pool creation with the elimination of age, 
host limits so earlier we you can create a maximum physically you can combine only eight server in the server and or eight physical server in the server and or in the data center side so now we are just eliminating that component uh, that restriction so now you can create multiple devices together to get the services more perform the services and multiple vlan support virtualized lan so view administrator performance improvements with large numbers of desktops accelerated provisioning recompose and rebalance operations so again everything is re acceleration we are supporting the acceleration part on uh, your storage your application side your bandwidth your memory your gpu everywhere we are giving the acceleration and support for vc uh, virtual appliance based deployment uh, so if you are uh, well was uh, aware of these uh, virtualized uh, appliance from this year you might know about this uh, enhanced vcenter operations for view scale and enhanced application entitlement with horizon workspace the preview of a new integrated service console in the vc web client this is for web client if you are running with multiple devices you can run with web client also no need to get connected to your browsers always so efficient use of storage capacity with space efficient disk that comes under transform degrees tco so get started on your transformation today identify assess deploy so identify key issues and business initiatives as a partner uh, we need to identify the business challenges from the customers and map solutions to issues and prioritize so identify the success metrics for your solution so you need to uh, identify which solution can be suitable and as 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 the end user needs and requirements as as the environment from the desktop os application how they are already using to the infrastructure network servers and storage what the, what all the resources already they have you need to identify and assess that plan and design your solution so you need to plan so whether we need to give only view or we need to give uh, your rock space or you need to give the web component so you need to define that which solution is suitable for the end customer's requirement so deploy so virtualize your applications and you need to virtualize your applications So you, if they have thousand users, you can create one image, only one image, only one application image. You can roll out to your entire thousand users. So first, you need to virtualize your applications. Establish rules for new apps. So how you need it need to get the roll out and uh, what all the security policies need to get roll out. So you need to define the rules. So rationalize all desktop images. So begin the pilot and test to so deploy to production. So this comes under. Starting your VDI component to your end customer's requirement. Identify, assess, and deploy. Horizon view pricing and packaging overview. This is the approximate price. This is not the actual price. In Horizon view, you will get a bundle. In bundle, you will get uh, all all the options like a vSphere desktop, standard desktop, manager, your composer, persona management, local mode. That's the offline mode. your v sealed endpoint for security your thin app suit everything you will get in horizon view bundle so add on if you are using uh, v sphere desktop already if you want to add on if you want to buy the add on you can choose only the add on component and add on to bundle upgrade if you are using already if you are using add on also you want to get upgrade from the older version to the latest version so you already you are using v sphere desktop now you, four four version if you are talking uh, if you are taking as an example it's a four version you are using now you want to upgrade to to five version 5.1 or 5.2 the latest version and then also you want to get to add the add on you want to add more features then you need to take two options add on to bundle upgrade and then add on separate or else if you want to take only this way desktop you can take it as separate this way desktop or you want to get a bundle complete bundle you can take it as a bundle for the fresh setup so anything is possible so if you want to learn more view resources you can go to vmware.com/go/enduser computing 
or else you can go to vmware.com slash go slash view that uh, direct portal you can go and view the product so build your business case everything you can uh, see the horizon view customers so if i hope that uh, you are holding with uh, the vmware partner partner central portal uh, uh, account uh, credential so if you have that account credential you can uh, log in to vmware.com slash partners partner central and then you can log in with your credential you you can download all the documents and you will get the case studies customer use everything so we are uh, waiting uh, for your queries more further and opportunities <laughs>